Hello everyone, I hope everyone is doing well. We are back with another fun tutorial and today we're gonna to discuss how you can use OpenAI with MuSoft. So we thought it's gonna be a good idea to showcase how you can use OpenAI APIs with MuSoft to generate automated responses and use those responses to feed into any enterprise system of your choice. So before we begin, I would like to give you guys a brief of what OpenAI is and how you can navigate on any browser to get OpenAI APIs for free. Thank you for watching. OpenAI is an AI research and deployment company. Their mission is to ensure that artificial general intelligence benefits all of humanity. They made generative models using a technology called deep learning, which leverages large amount of data to train an AI system to perform a task. As you guys know, ChatGPT is really popular these days. GPT is an autoregressive language model released in 2020 that uses deep learning to produce human-like text. Given an initial text as prompt, it will produce text that continues the prompt. Luckily for us, OpenAI has various APIs to use with MuSoft. They have various APIs already up and running for developers to use. For this demo, we're going to use Chat API. So this will be the use case that we're going to implement today. Using Chat GPT API, we are going to create a customer satisfaction email and send that email template to Salesforce with the help of MuSoft. So as you guys can see here, we have an event listener, which is nothing but a simple HTTPS host call. Then we have an event processor, which is the Chat GPT completions API. Then we have a transfer message. And then we are using an upset connector of Salesforce to create an email template as a draft. And then we're going to end our flow. So let's jump into the demo. The very first step we need to do is to create an account on OpenAI. So what I'm going to do, I'm simply going to go to their website, OpenAI API. And try to explore their APIs. So I click on explore the API and there is a section for developers. I click here. So for us, we're going to use this chat GPT API. So I click on this. As you can see, I am already signed in. I used my personal Gmail account to sign in. You can use any email account. After you create an account with OpenAI, just click here on your profile and click view API keys. This step is really important because we need this key for authentication purposes. So I click here and as you guys can see, I have created a secret key already. You can create a new secret key if you desire. So I have my secret key already saved on my notepad, which I'm gonna use for authentication purposes. So let's go to our AnyPoint Studio I have an event listener which is listening to path test chat GPT and in the configuration I have nothing but a protocol HTTPS define a port 8082. In the payload I have prompt the model which is text DaVinci 003 similar to GPT-3. We have temperature. Temperature is a value between 0 and 1 that essentially lets you control how confident the model should be when making these predictions. Lower temperature means it will take fewer risks and completion will be more accurate and deterministic. So that's why the temperature here is zero because I want my response to be more accurate and deterministic. Max token is nothing but the words that you're gonna have as a response. So after the payload is ready, I'm simply hitting the chat API. So this is the URL api.openai.com version one and completions. So here in the body, I'm simply sending the payload that I have created in transform message. So in the headers, we have an authorization key with the value of a bearer token. So the value is nothing but bearer keyword space the key that we created so moving forward after the response we are basically creating a payload that we are gonna send to salesforce which will create an email template as a draft in salesforce 
So in the payload, we have nothing but the BCC address, two address, the validated from address, the subject, which is between two mules customer satisfaction, and the text body is a variable A. So basically the payload we received from chat API, I have done some modifications to receive the text and text only. So after the payload is ready, I'm simply using the absurd connector to create an email draft on Salesforce. The object type that I'm using here is email message, which is a standard object in Salesforce. So after the email draft is created, I'm simply logging the payload. And that's pretty much it with the flow. Let me debug it and show you guys this in action. So after the application has been deployed, I'm simply using Postman to hit that URL. So as you guys can see, I'm using localhost 8082 followed by the path that I have defined in the event listener. So in the payload, I'm simply sending a prompt key and the value is generate a satisfaction email template to send to a customer named Ismi by between two mules and Shubham as the agent name. So I'm going to click send. As you can see, I have a breakpoint here. That's why the flow stopped here. So it's going to create the payload that I'm going to send to OpenAI chat API. As you can see, we have prompt, we have the model which is GPT-3, we have the temperature zero and the max tokens 4,000 words. So I get a response from OpenAI Chat API. So I get an ID, the object, which is text completion, when it was created, the model, choices and the text. This is the text that I need to use as a body and create an email draft in Salesforce. So I have done some modifications in this transfer message. So as you can see now, the payload has changed to what we need to send to Salesforce. So in the payload, as you can see, the absurd was a success. And I just need the ID to show you guys the email draft that was created. So this is the ID on the email message standard object i'm just going to copy it and open my salesforce as you can see this is the contact that i created from here i'm going to go to the email message standard object and the id that was just created and here you go you can see the email draft already been created from our MuSoft integration. So as you can see how we can create an email template using OpenAI Chat API. This is one of the use cases. You can definitely try multiple use cases using that API. Thank you so much for watching this demo. Please let us know your feedback in the comment section down below. We'll see you in the next one.